the whole idea was to do a two-hour workshop. It's trying to say that how action research could be very useful in agile methods. Action research is the way you do action research in terms of the change into, into action. So you reflect of those changes and you learn from them in that sense. So it's a way of m making a change, but you try to understand what is that change, learn from it, evaluate it, and then go back, change again in some way. So it's a learning cycle in the end. But the research is that I believe you can only understand research in, in even business to a certain extent, or even technology with people, is you have to introduce it and see what happens uh, to learn from that. I produced a method uh, called Multiview a long time ago, uh, but I actually talked about the story um, of this method. And I then actually trying to work out what I'd learned from this, or the ideas, how would it actually change in terms of agile learning, because they're slightly different. Information systems normally is a much more wider sense in terms of business change as well as the technology change. Um, but there are very similarities which could, because I learned a lot from them, okay, and I think they learned from me as well in that terms of change. Well, we produced a book in uh, call uh, Wisdom, which is about how to design web information systems methods in 2002. So it, it was the first time on ag Agile methods that came in. And um, now what I'm beginning to understand, we can actually change software or change things much more quickly and probably accurately. So in some ways, but I've known it for 10 years, um, but I just think it's part of development of informa information related change in organizations. Yeah. I'm still, I think it is one of the range of, of stuff. I think it's a lot of other changes. I think the thing with social networking and social media is a radical change uh, as well. And I think this is quite, um, it's a very important stream. But there are things which are happening which, um, for me, social media uh, are going to make radical changes in society what organizations are yeah. when we have organizations now okay that organizations have things that they do activities that they do and then you have then information to support those activities okay i think with the most social media is it is actually changing those activities and i think what they do is some of the new new technologies coming in or in already including Facebook, Twitter, and so on, they're actually enhancing that particular activity. And that, that activity. So I'm saying is that even now, the organizations or education or these things, do you need physically that you need an organization? It's an organized activity that can be coming in. So that, and I think with Agile as well, I think Agile is quite very important as well. Uh, in the end, but I just think the question is that um, the old sort of way of information systems development, and, but agile development, you know, by looking at both of them, I can actually we can learn from each other. I think the biggest thing it has, it, 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 there's a lot of learning into this community, and that's improved and improved, and I think you've been losing. The second thing I think is the, the development of the software artifacts is they've recognized that the development of the, that technology is a social activity as well. Okay, And I think the latest thing which has made a difference um, is the late, latest government report on IT projects is that they really want it much more agile in those ideas. And so on. But coming back to um, you know, Helen, you're the pro professor of software engineering at uh, Open University, I, I agree with it to a certain extent. Um, but we're still not sure, still early days in the questions. And, and uh, the thing, 
Of course, you've got other things that would you put package solutions in or things. I mean, uh, um, we just did a, a case study at the MBA at MBS with my colleagues called um, Professor Peter Kavalak, but we put a case on Tesco for that. And that Tesco, they're actually using 5,000 programmers in, in India to do that. But the question what they do is taking a package solution and tailoring. So there's a lot of things which are happening, which I think is in terms of changing. So it's either a package solution. You might have been using much more different terms of communication technologies to build it or agile development. I think there's a, a series of things which are radically changing.